So we've seen strings, which are characters enclosed in quotation marks. And so we can have long strings, short strings, they can include spaces and so forth. What about numbers? First thing to understand is numbers are never going to have quotation marks around them if you want to do math with them. And of course you can do math right here in the console without saying console log or using semicolons or anything. So it's kind of like your nice new little built-in calculator that you didn't even know you had whenever you open the JavaScript console. So the operators that I've just typed, plus, minus, division, and multiplication, you're familiar with, you know what those are. Um, you've probably used exponents before, but you probably don't know that uh, in computer lingo, an exponent is represented by two asterisks. So this is 2 to the 8th power, and that's how you would do that if you ever need to use an exponent, which maybe you won't. And another mathematical operator, these are the, the math operators that we're using here, or arithmetic operators, is called modulus. And what it does is it gives you the remainder. So if I use modulus like this and say divide by 3, you know it's going to be left over, right? That's what's going to be left over. So that percent symbol is never, ever percent in a computer language. It always means get me the remainder from this division operation. Um, another thing that you need to be aware of, just so that you're not doing all your math wrong, the math is so convenient, um, but let's clear this for a second so we can do this, and that is the order of operations. So when we say, here, I'll make this as a JavaScript comment, P, E, D, M, A, S, or, sorry, type that wrong, P, E, M, D, A, S, PEMDAS, it stands for parentheses come first, exponents come next, multiplication and division, whichever one, they come next, and addition and subtraction are always done last. And what that results in is if we type something like 20 plus 2 times 10, every now and then, if you're not used to this, you might not realize that this is what you're going to get. So if you wanted to do the addition, which comes last, if you wanted to do the addition first, you need to use parentheses. Not a big deal, but this way you'll get what you might have been expecting. Um, so that's really all you need to know about doing math. And of course, we could put something like that, like this, into a variable as we've seen before, right? So let my equation equal, right? And then I've got that in there. And if I console log my equation, I get the executed result of my statement on the right side of the equal sign, right? I will never see my equation again once I've stored it in a variable.